Hello everybody, welcome to this session. Now uh, the objective of this session was to see how to create a background job for automatic TO creation within a warehouse uh, 089. Now here we have already uh, completed the step one. The program that we used was RLU TA10. So uh, first we have created a variant for the program RLU TA10 underscore new. Then secondly we have created or in fact defined the background job uh, with the variant now the job name that we have picked up is create here underscore 089 underscore auto and now we are at the last step that is test the background job how does it work so here you can see that here you can see now we let's go to the steps the parameter that it is using is the variant name that we have created and here the program name and now let's go to me21n i'm going to create a purchase order and i'm going to do a migo okay so i'm going to me21n i'm going to create a migo so with the help of the purchase order we will be doing the goods receipt uh, let me see if in case there is any of the open purchase order if we have an open purchase order probably we can still work out let me see if I have any of the open purchase order. okay uh, let's create one it will hardly take any time so I'm creating with 500 plan 300 storage location 0089 press enter let me go for document overview off and then here header the org data let me fill the org data and then press enter okay so here it has picked up the price it has picked up the PO quantity everything now let's check if in case we have any errors in this so no messages issued during check so I'm going to save this purchase order Okay, so the purchase order is created. It is 7630. So this is a purchase order that we have got. Let's save this. The purchase order that we have created. Okay, so the purchase order is done. Now let's go to the MyGo to do the goods receipt so here we are at my goal now I'm going to add the purchase order now let's see so it has picked up all the details I would just say quantity 500 perfect now I will just say uh, I took ok and I am going to check if there is any issue So you can see here the document is okay 
so now we can post so i'm clicking on the post now the i'm not going to create any transfer order for this manually i would like the background job to create a transfer order so the expectation is that next time the background job when it runs it should create a transfer order for this purchase order 17630 now um once this purchase order is saved the metal document is posted we would see the transfer order in the background job log wow it's great so metal document is posted now you can see this is the system guided one so here this is already given now let's go to sm37 i'm going to see the background job name was create yo underscore zero eight nine underscore auto so i'm going to execute this now so here you can see that it is not yet executed right so now next time when it runs it would create the to for the background uh, for the metal document that is posted okay now here you can see that uh, the uh, background job is run and you can see it is finished it is in green color right now and you can see here it took six seconds now let's go inside and see so here in the job log you can see that the job started and this program it was run and then there was transfer order which was created 127 and you can see here tr total one so it created one transfer requirement then after that it created one to and after that the job was finished so this was out expected out of the out of the uh, job that we have created now let's go to lt22 because we wanted to reconfirm whether this transfer order is for that purchase order only or not so i'm going into 089 and then i'm executing it created on and now here you can see that the transfer order 127 this is you can see here the purchase order number the purchase order that we had 45001 this was the purchase order that we have created 17630 so it automatically created on its own uh, by the background job the way we have created uh, with the help of the conditions and the variant that we specified so this is how the background job would be scheduled created variant would be created and the to would be created now if in case you would like to have this automatically confirmed that can be handled at the moment type level please do watch my other videos for moment types that will be upcoming uh, over there you can see that if in case right from the start of picking list creation till picking list confirmation everything how that can be done so thank you for watching this video uh, if in case you like it please do subscribe to my channel thank you so much